Welcome back, Gamer Nation. Stephen Thomas here with another episode of the Drake FC playthrough on FIFA 22. I don't know why I did that little dance. I'm just really excited to play this game. Busy, busy month of October this episode. We've got Arsenal and away game. We just had a riveting match with them in the Carabao Cup. We'll go back home and take on Brighton Albion. We go back on the road to take on Crystal Palace. And then our next game in the Carabao Cup is Leicester City at home. Good chance there to hopefully move forward. We already played them once, but with this being the Premier League and this caliber of opponents, as you all have seen, every week and every game is very different. If you're enjoying the series, don't forget to hit that like button. We're trying to hit 20 plus on each video. If you forgot to like some of them, go back and hit it. But anyway, let's get to Arsenal and we'll play the first game of the day. All right, Arsenal today. I did have to go in and switch some of their players around because they had, uh, oh my God, it looks like it switched them right back. I think they had their striker in the wrong spot. So I I tried to fix it, and it looks like they moved some of them just back. So who knows? Anyway, uh, Berkey uh, in goal, Mbabu, uh, Anacion, uh, Alustondo, and Tavares in the back line, uh, Zeno Lo, Fabinho, uh, Zambi, Lokanga, and Hoslek. I want to swear he was the striker. And I moved him, and they got Oldegaard and St. Maximin up front. I I don't know. Maybe maybe I did change it. I don't know. I tried. Anyway, maybe I'll have to figure out the better way to do that. Uh, only changes for us is Noradal in for Bravo starting out, and then I got a Guado in there starting for Julio Alonso. All right, kicking off here at Emirates Stadium, Arsenal, Francis Drake. We've been here before. And it went down to the wire and to a penalty shootout. We emerged victorious. We'll see if the same thing can happen today. I'm very interested to see. Uh, these uh, Premier League teams just... Let's put that forward. Oh, we just, that was so close. We just couldn't work it out. Boss didn't have the kick. I do think that next year maybe we need to look for an, a very exciting left winger. I do feel like that's something we uh, maybe need to put on the list. Good defense there, and we're going to lose it immediately because the bounces never come to us. A real room for improvement in front of goal where the visitors are concerned. They have officially speaking the worst attack in the league. Well, quite simply, oh, boss, there we go. Get enough players into forward areas. They need to get the midfield See if Boss can do something with the speed. Popped out. It's it Fernandez goes to Nordahl. And Nordahl takes a shot. Oh, it was deflected off somebody. I think he could have rolled that in. Let's see what happened here. Oh, it went off the back heel of the defender. So we'll get a corner here. We'll see if Edson Fernandez can sling this one over. Warnick shot. And I think it's just over the top. I don't think it touched anybody, to be honest. Nah, it's just too high. He couldn't bring it down. A yellow card cone out there. Tavares, I'm actually surprised by that. Edson Fernandez made a good move on the ball. And he just, yeah, he didn't even go for the ball. That should have been a red card. We'll take the free kick here. Move it up to Odegaard. Sambi got some room. We gave him tons of room in uh, Marmadashvili with a save right there. Tough corner here. They're going to try to go short, it looks like. Can be also over to cover. Good moves there. We're still here in Marmadash Valley with another save. Arsenal really threatening here. Looks like they're going to go short again. Oh, it's at the post. No, we're going to we're going to give up another go, aren't we? Every time. How many times this season? Have we stopped the ball right there, and that animation cost us a goal? That is ridiculous. It will land, 
our dude will turn and get ready to pass it, and they automatically always get it. See, he misses it, and it's like, oh, it's right there, and they just take advantage of it. There's nothing I can do in that. He's stuck in the animation. One nil Arsenal. It's Nora Dahl who picked up the scrape. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Let's see if we can hold them here. It looks like we're going to go down in the, in the locker room. Down one nil we are. We'll have to check the injury on Noradal, and we're gonna have to bounce back from that. I'm appalled. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Can they get in behind them? And they're gonna get a second goal. That was too easy. And just what they deserve. We uh we're playing pretty bad right now, not gonna lie. It's, uh, well, first of all, the we played them so much better in the cup game, Give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure. but just a shot across the way, there's nothing we can do. Edson Fernandez is back there on defense. I don't know where Cambiasso was. He's way up there. Um, that's sad. Two nil. We're down. We'll make a change here. We'll see what happens. But, uh, right now we're just not getting the ball forward enough. Fouled. We should get a free kick. See if we could pop this up. Oh, we did, but it was just off. Edson Fernandez, not a bad effort. Play this one down the edge. They're really going for blood now. Oh, we're going to lose the ball right here, of course. And they're going to give them a penalty? Are you serious? Oh, my Lord. That is ridiculous. That is the most ridiculous call ever. Nordahl out. We'll bring in Pablo Bravo. And that's a goal. 3-0. And we improved our defense this year. This is the sad part. Oh my lord, that is terrifying on so many levels. Last few minutes of this one. I don't think it's going to matter. We uh Now Maybe it's just a difficulty swing cuz it's like there's some games like this game and the Wolves game. They just come out and they hit everything. And then that's going to be a goal, isn't it? Yep. And again, they, they run up the score like this, but then you you go to other games where it's just like really close. And I, I, I don't know. Because we played Arsenal before. Remember, we, we took them to the end, even in extra time. But here they're just on a whole different level. And maybe they just had a rotated team then. I'd have to go back to look or one of you all would, but we're, we're just – Embarrassed out of here now. All right, sound defeat for us. They uh, they had a 98% dribble completion rate. That's crazy. That's what I'm talking about. It's just like, oh, okay then. Um, Arsenal 4, Francis Drake nil. You can see the stats there. We just got... We had six shots. We just didn't... Uh, we only put one on target. All right, hopefully we get some good news here out of Mexico. We've got a scouting report in. And right now it's not looking too good. Which we know at this point it's going to be harder and harder to find players to facilitate our needs. All right, Brighton Albion today. They've got Skirpin and Go, Ostegard out right, Veltman, March, and Casarella, which is their back line. Gerson and White as CDMs, Lamptey, Vargas, and Alzate. And midfield, and then Connolly up front. This is a team we should get some points against. We're back to the normal lineup. I don't think I've got anything different. I do not. Jump right into it here. 
and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West I think one of the things I may, may have to check change on this team is our build up to get forward faster we're gonna have to go just a little bit more because we're just we're slow Hornick just giving that up here because our build up is just not there Morris couldn't hold on that was a bad that was a risky pass and that's kind of something we've been doing as well is we're just not taking care of the ball at all. Other teams have way higher dribble rates. Um, much higher um, pass completion, and we just, we're not doing that. Vargas gets ready to come down the side. We'll try to contain him. Oh, Alonzo, that was good. That should have been a handball on them, but again, they'll get the bounce. They keep it. And here, oh, Carvajal, he'll get that out. And we'll try to send this through to Kornick. And he bounces it ahead, and again, we just tore the whole pass up. Uh, we had a chance there to go forward, and we're just, we're just not playing well. Playing Deddy with a good tackle, but they'll keep it. Go to Morris. Morris breaks through. Morris got a lot of room here. Comes in, brings it into the box. Oh, and Cornick couldn't get a hold of it. The defender was on him the whole time. Oh, it looked like he really was in there. And it's off. No, it's off the defender. So we'll get a corner here. Just too much on it. Carvajal again. It's Fernandez now going to try his chance, taking up the wing. Oh, and the keeper just got a hold of it. He's trying to hit Kornick on the backside. Just, we are creating chances. We're just not taking advantage of them today. Close to halftime. We're having to be careful here. He turned it. Oh, he lost it. Carvajal gives it right back. And this is where we usually give up a goal. And thankfully, we don't there. We'll go to halftime. Nil-nil. Good Lord. Push here. They find some holes. And Marmadashvili comes up and handles that. See if we can build something here. Move it up to Cornick. Cornick. Cornick breaks through. Cornick tripped down. He's injured. No call. And that happened so much. I hope it's a light bump. Again, we steal the ball there, and they just end up with it. You do not get any bounces right now. This is dangerous. Great defense. Hornick. Still up. We got Edson Fernandez. Great first touch. Edson Fernandez. Puts it in there. Let's go. He's been relatively quiet this season, but we needed that. And we need to hold on to this. And I may go ahead and sub Cornick because I don't want him injured. Yeah, they're actually saying that, but I'm not going to do boss. That's who this, you can't see that. You could see Cornick here, but not who it's at. It's saying, oh, put boss in for him. No, I'll put Ribeiro in. But Edson Fernandez gives us a 1-0 lead. And I'll actually go right ahead. And we'll bring Ribeiro out. And uh, hopefully hold on to that. Scored in the 69th minute. Nice. All right, so Kornick off just to be uh, safe. Here comes Ribeiro. 1-0. We lead Brighton. And hopefully we can hold on to it. Some little one-twos here. Go up to Ribeiro. Back to Morris. Back to Ribeiro. Pablo Bravo. 
Pablo Bravo, it's blocked! Oh, nobody was there! Bond guard slide tackles, trying to get to it, and it's going to roll out. And that's it! Oh my god, what an ending to that game. That is three points we desperately needed. And that's what we got to do this season. We've got to... We got to dig out and win these ones that are we're able to win in the league and move forward. So we had a ninety percent, they had a ninety-seven. They're just so good at dribbling up here. Uh, possession was almost even. Lots of interceptions from us. That one breakaway was the difference. All right, third game today. We got Crystal Palace, and they don't seem they're they're higher they're the top half of the table but they don't seem very and I, maybe i'll regret saying this they don't seem super strong amato in goal four in the back they got hanum demiro rodon and focket i hope that's how you said that sorry thomas three in the middle parte as and Burgias. and then up front they got demir adiyeme as their striker and uh, akbunar uh over on left uh, today, we go back, uh, Aguado's going to start CDM, Noradal in, and then I put Boss back out there on the left. Live from Selhurst Park. South London. Oh, that's a good interception by Boss there. I like to see that. Oh, he's taken down. Give him the red. The ref just has a word. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly. Pitting the opposition back. Playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, over the Nordal. Nordal. Bongard. Pick it out to Fernandez. Oh! Get the ball, Linetti. Linetti was there and he just had a bad header on it. That was perfect cross. I mean, Edson Fernandez put it exactly where it needed to be. Just a terrible cross or a terrible header, excuse me. Arbiol, Edson Fernandez gets it. Really closing him down. Cambiasso, he can run. He plays wing back. And he definitely has to speed here. And we're going to have some numbers. A useful cross. Oh! And just wide, the Boss tackled! Boss tackled! They do nothing! It was another good cross. He spears Boss, and the ref just lets it go. Steven Thomas just... Beside himself, livid about it. Second half. Edson Fernandez. We'll kick it out. We've got a throw in here. We'll go to Cornick. Back to Fernandez. And they'll kick it out again. We'll get another throw in. Oh, we just couldn't get it through there. We're trying to hit Landon Deddy. Uh, he's been playing really good today, getting into positions and stuff. What? A red card? Are you... Okay. Well, that sucks. All right, well, we're definitely going to have to change things up now. Landon Eddy can play defense, so he can do that CDM role. That's fine. I don't think Noradal can hold this on his own. I'm going to bring in Bravo. Um, and we'll see what we can do with this. This is this is not... Here we've been playing well. Here I said this is a game we can get points. And now we're down to 10 men. I guess now we just need to play... We're, we're going to play for a draw, but if we can get a win... We'll take it. Boss into Pablo Bravo. Pablo Bravo trying to turn. He's in. And Harry Cornick over the top. It was perfect play. I'm not sure how it went that high, but it is what it is. Even with 10 men, we're putting the heat on them. We'll go over here and we'll hit Boss. Tries to go through to Cornick. 
And there's a shot. Oh, it's blocked. Oh my god, Amato. That is one of the best saves I have ever seen. I'm not even sure how he got a hand on that. He was running forward. And now this counter, we are all over the place. They do go over the top. Try to bring it across. We partially got it out. It's still here. I love that our defense is just the back four. The rest of the team we will flip that ahead. Pablo Bravo. Five minutes remaining and level pegging here. We'll go up. Edson Fernandez. Oh, they're, what? They get the ball? Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. Landon Eddie out. He's been playing awesome. Alonzo in for defensive purposes. We don't want to give up a point. Or, yeah, we don't want to give up a point here. Pablo Bravo gets that. Cornick just oh, he couldn't get to it. He couldn't get to that one. What is going on with Harry Cornick? Alonzo was there, but it bounces right back to him. Alonzo again. And again. Oh, my God. We're going to try to... Oh, oh, my God. That would have been a great play. They cut it off. We tried to hit Harry Cornick, and that's going to be the game. What a effort to hold on to grab a point out of that one. All right, so even down a man, it was 50-50, six shots to four. Our goal expected goals was 4.7, and we come out with none. Their keeper, two key saves. That one... Pablo Bravo shot. I don't know how in the world he even come out and got that. That is the best save I've seen in this game so far. All right, we're getting ready to go into the Carabao Cup versus Leicester. But looking at the Premier League table right now, we're nine games in. Spurs, Chelsea, Liverpool, Man United, and Wolves. Uh, we played the majority of them up at the top. Aston Villa fell a little bit. Crystal Palace is in eighth place. Leicester is currently sitting 10th right now. So this is going to be a tough game coming in, especially the way we're playing. We have dropped down to 17th with nine points. That does put us three points out of relegation. So our three, our two wins and our draws are uh, keeping us above water. That Brighton one you could see was really important as they are down there. But Arsenal falling down here too. That, that's a game that I'm not sure why they dominated us so much. Maybe we just didn't show up. But... Uh, we're holding on right now, and um, we're going to continue to hold on as the season goes, hopefully. Uh, I don't know when we all have. Let's see. I think we're almost done with October. Yeah, this is it. Let's go to next month. So we got Everton coming up next month. They're ninth. And then we'll take on Leeds. They're mid-table. And, uh, okay, there's Preston, so that's a must-win game. And then we'll take on Brentford. So two tough games and two, well, they're all tough games. I don't know why I'm even saying that. We're just going to have to play our balls off to survive this year. All right, Leicester City, they are running a rotated uh, team today as they've had a lot of games the last few days. Iverson in goal, four in the back, Dagba, Vinit, Vinkovic, Fuentes and Thomas, uh, Kudhuri and uh, Leshabella uh, in defensive, McAteer, Shade, and Maskimovic uh, is their midfield, and then George Hurst, who I know is one of their backup strikers, he's getting the start today. Uh, we're a little bit rotated. We've got Watkins in there. Obviously, Alonzo going to have to come back in the lineup. Uh, Boss is playing over on the right side, and Shade and Morris on the left. All right, round four of the Carabao Cup. Let's do this. It is raining heavily. There was one thing I was going to change.
I want to do balanced build up because I feel like that slow build up is really hurting us. Oh my god. What are your expectations for today? Yes, cheers, Derek. Well, what an Because I think them they're just being a little too slow. These are the games that they dream of. No doubt. Have Shaden Morris come back over. He's gonna hit oh, that was a bad pass. But I'm already seeing a little bit of movement here. Hopefully we get a great cup tie and maybe even a massive surprise. And Cornick. Oh, it was so close. He must have just barely missed that. Did the keeper touch it? It rolled awful funny. He did touch it. Okay. Boss swings this one in. And it's off the top of the net. Unfortunate. Boss swings this one down the side. He's going to hit Bravo. Bravo, a ton of room, but the keeper's ball. Come up with that one. Pass in Pablo Bravo again. And Pablo Bravo puts it in the goal. That was the shot he took last game. And that keeper was running forward and somehow blocked it. But Bravo gets it through this keeper. And we'll take a lead here in the Carabao Cup. Great pass. That's Landon Eddy. And Bravo just turns and takes the shot. That was beautiful. They were all over him. All over him. That's beautiful. Chef's kiss there. Pablo Bravo. 1-0 Drakes. It really doesn't matter whether it's FIFA or it's Football Manager on Twitch. We, My teams show up for cup play. When the Cornick. Boss is there, and oh my god. And somehow they're going to come out with it. Somehow, the Emperor has returned. We'll intercept that one. In. This should be the Cornick show. Oh, what a block. I. Bravo, what was that? I thought we could have a chance to go up 2-0, but instead I passed it back to Bravo and he just decided to just crap his pants. Shoot this one up. Cornick, oh my God. Cornick got a lot more room. How in the world did he get that ball and pass it like that? Cornick. Good move. Oh, it was almost in there. I still don't know how Cornick beat that man. And somehow they kicked it backwards. Aiden Morris. Oh, my God. That's amazing. He's enjoying space. Tried to go for the cross. He couldn't keep it in. I think uh, we've got some tired bodies. I think I'll bring Ribeiro in for Cornick. And... I'm going to bring Almeida in for Alonzo for defensive support, just to hold on here. So, Rebeller, Almeida, Cornick, Alonzo off. Almeida, maybe his last season with us here. He's just... He's a great player. He's playing way above his numbers. I just don't know if he'll have a home here in the Premier League. Oh, that's a good move. Morris out. Morris. Oh, Pablo Bravo slipped. It should be 2-0. If they score in the last four minutes, I will I will throw the controller through my wall. I don't know how. Pablo Bravo did not come up with that easy goal. They are looking. And that's going to be it. They pushed it back too far. We will advance to the Carabao Cup. Thankfully, it should have been 2-0. Really really Good grief. They 
Again, playing well in the cups, but we need points in the league too. That'll be our objective next episode. I do think we play a little bit better having it on balanced. Lester had zero shots that game. I knew they were playing a rotated squad, but good lord, they they were just their starters were wore out. So, and if you saw Cornick and stuff, we may be in trouble our next game depending on how many days rest we have. All right, so we've already looked at the standings. We know we need points in the Premier League. Let's look and see who we've drawn in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. It looks like Southampton. And we are the home team. So Everton and Brighton, Brentford and the Wolves. We play Southampton and then Liverpool and Austin Villa. So a lot of big teams can knock themselves out. Southampton, though, they are 11th on the table right now. We've also got some big games coming up. We've kind of already talked about when they are or what place the teams are. So we got Everton and Leeds. Everything's a week apart, so that's actually really good. So we'll go into it with rested squads. So November is a chance to really come out. We really need six points at least. Eight would be preferable out of that month. And then we get really busy in December. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games in December. We're going to be a little wore out. And then I guess it kind of spreads back out, depending on how this cup game goes. So that's kind of where we're at now. But anyways, that is where we're at. We'll see what happens going forward. Leave me some comments. Let me know what y'all are thinking about the team. I know that it's a trip. I, I did not expect to finish in the top half of the table this year. We just don't have the squad for that. But um, it has been a struggle. It has been tough. Um, we're still trying to find our way. If you think there's some kind of formation we should try with the personnel we have, let me know. I can always throw it up there and try it and practice, you know, and see what happens, and we'll go from there. But anyways, as always, thanks for watching. God bless, and don't forget to make good decisions. Special thanks to these July Patreon supporters. If they were suntan lotion, I'd rub them all over my chest. My toned, buff chest. Party Commissar, Kiana Handy, James Matisse, The Least Expected, Azure Rain, Zachary McKinley, Eccentric, and Nicholas Absher. 